In response to a recent video, one of my fans has suggested that she would like to know how to use RSS feeds and how to actually follow blogs using RSS. So I'm just going to give you a walkthrough on how you might do this. If you wanted to subscribe to a feed from a blog, you'll find a symbol that looks like this. And what you need to do is click on the type of feed that you would want. So this one gives you options, but I'm just going to click on posts. And then it gives you choices of what to subscribe to. I recommend using the Google feed reader only because this works for me. So I'm going to click on this one. And you can add it either to your Google homepage or to your Google Reader. I'm going to suggest you add it to your Google Reader because this is a much more magazine style view of reading your blog. So I'm going to click here on Add to Google Reader. So now here we are in Google Reader and it's brought me directly there. And if you look down here in the corner, you can see the subscriptions that are. Um, currently in my Google Reader. And right now it just sort of looks like a bit of an inbox for email. And there's another view that you can use for this which is found up at the top here. Right now I'm in uh, the list view and if I want to expand it I can put it in expanded view and you'll see that what this does is it opens up these listings and turns them into um, actual readable content. So I can go ahead and read through this blog and when I'm finished reading that one I can continue on to read the next one. So this is another um, another blog post that was posted recently to Three Crochet Chicks and just moving down um, this one is actually an index so all of these links are functional if you wanted to click on any of these um, images it would bring you to the link for that page. So that's a, a pretty functional way of, of reading your blog feeds. And what you'll notice is that beside each title, there is a little star button. So if there was something that you wanted to come back to later, you could hover over this area and click it, turning it into a star. So then when we click back over here into the list view, you can see that beside these two items, I have stars beside them. And that will help me come back to, to find those more easily later. Over on the left further, you'll see that right now I'm viewing all items, but I could just view the start items. And then I'll just bring up a much shorter list and it will make it so much easier for me to find the things that I'm looking for. So if I'm no longer interested in this one, I can click off the star and then my start items would be reduced down to just this one blog post. All right, so I hope this helps you to figure out what you can do with um, RSS feeds and how you can read blogs by RSS feed. It's really quite simple and I hope you give it a try.